ready to start again. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Eddie Marcus, spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people. I want to say that this is Sunday morning, and I'm so glad that I have this opportunity to share with you on this day and hope that it will mean something, mean something fresh and something brand new. Last night, I had an opportunity to visit and participate somewhat in a debate, a debate about the Bible, a debate about the strangeness of the Bible, the contradictions and uh, people who might be having problems with that. In fact, there's a new church they call starting in town in St. Paul is called the Universal Church. You don't uh, come there to get God, you bring God with you and you discover God together as it has been revealed to you, each of you that participate in what's going on in the program. And it was a heavy debate. But what you could really get is what goes on between the different churches, the different denominations, different understandings, and how that would appear to an average person walking down the street trying to hear something about God, which way do I go? Either way, the only way you go, the one you choose is the right way, and everything else is wrong. Now, we don't want to say it like that, but anyway, how many people do you know, my friends, that talk to you about God and God's love and really can try to back it up? I want to tell you that the things that I tell you, I tell you because God called me to tell you. Not only did God call me, and the reason that I know God called me, because God saved me. And when I say saved me, I'm not talking about my soul. I'm talking about my physical body. Saved my physical body from my stupidity. Other guys, just like me, die in that same situation. But God decided to save me. Why? because I can stand before you today and do what I will do. And that is to tell you that God is real and everything else outside of love is not God. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what uh, is this thing all about? What is it all about? If God took you out of your body and let you, you know where I'm going with that, don't you? I don't have time for that. I want to tell you that God is love. Now, when it comes down to me, as I said, they were arguing about the Bible. Uh, and here's an example of what I meant. One guy would say Jesus was nailed to a cross that's doing this crucifixion. Another would say that he was hung from a tree. And what do you have? you got two statements. One guy said, well, God said this, and then say, God, well, God couldn't have said the other thing. Then you argue about which one did God say, which voice was God, really God. And then you got all kind of problems depending on whose head you're dealing with. Now, for me, I don't, I, I read the Bible like I do anything else. The good parts I love, that which means something to me I love, that which tells me something I learned, all that kind of stuff like that. But my life is not dwelled upon a Bible. Why? I don't trust it. Why don't you trust it? Because man touched it. I don't trust no one dead blessed thing that men have to touch, especially men who used to treat my folks as slaves. I don't trust one darn thing they touch. So I say this, if God can deal with anybody in that Bible, he's no God if he can't deal with me. And if you want to be my God, you got to deal with me. I don't want to hear through no book, hear what somebody said. I don't want to hear what dumb Dick John and Harry saying about God. If God can't talk to me and tell me what it is, get out of my face. Now, because of that, that tells you the reasons that I commit crimes to go to jail, to tell you, for one reason, to tell you that God is real and that you've been screwed. Go check my records. I go to prison. I committed crimes just so I can say this to you and back it up with my going to jail because I know you're not going to believe it. But I can stand here today and tell you that I did it. Went to jail knowing that I was going to go to jail because you weren't going to believe it because you've been indoctrinated to believe something else or you just don't care. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. God is love. This is why I know that God is about love. I, don't, I wasn't praying asking God for this. I was a kid growing up. I wasn't praying asking for nothing. I was just being a kid, stupid. But love came to me without prayer. And it came to me in the form of love. Should I say the Spirit of God came to me? And it came to me in love, showing me love, and it's coming to me. And so I'm here to say that to you, to say to you that if you change your way and believe in God. Now, when I say believe in God, I want you to know this. God is love. Love is constant. It doesn't appear sometime, appear some. God is, love is constant. It is always there until hate steps in or selfishness steps in. And it blocks love. 
It blocks it. Selfishness. Hate. It blocks love. You see, you can't buy love. You can't sell love. When you hear the preachers talking about plant your seed, God going to do this. No, baby, they're talking about themselves. They're not talking about God. They're talking about themselves, the God that they present before you every couple of weeks, and you tell them, yes, sir. And you act like you're shouting and happy over the words that come out of their mouth, but it's nothing but junk. Junk. Why I say it's junk? Because the will of God is supposed to be done right here on earth, just like it's done in heaven. Now, ain't no money exchanging in heaven. Ain't no dealing up in heaven about this and about that. Everything that happens in heaven happens for the benefit of everybody and everything that's in heaven. And that's the way it's designed to be down here. Everything that happens, everything that's created, everything that is established, every new idea that, pre that is presented for the benefit of anyone that others can use is supposed to be made available to them. Why? Because it's a gift from God to the earth people, whoever can use it. And all of the stuff that we're going through, trying to deal with this and do this, because we're listening to the sound of, of a demon from the pit of hell. And you know what? What I just told you give you beautiful enlightenment. It brings joy to your heart, but you don't believe a word of it. You don't believe a word of it. You think I'm stone crazy because I tell you that God wants you to have peace and prosperity and freedom and joy and happiness in your life. God wants you to live your dreams, not sitting up there really dreaming them. God wants you to have your houses like you want them, your homes, your streets, your cities, your towns. They even talk about somewhere about street signs made with gold sign because it doesn't mean anything other than stuff that be used to do what it does and that's shine so i'm telling you ladies and gentlemen to th today god is real look what's happening in america look what's happening all over the globe look what's happening with the last president they had and look at those who are following him look how they brought lies on the scene look how things are just falling apart muddy and even the people who are talking about that stuff being muddy have no solutions they're just talking about it, trying to get you to agree, agree with them. It put them in power so they can be the one, but they don't even want to be dealing with money. Money. They were talking about taking people out, killing them. You see how far we've gone away from God. And you talking about a book. That's what that book created. All of this stuff right here came out of that book. There's no love in that book. Love is in your heart. Love is in your spirit. Love is God. And if you ain't got no God... I don't have to say more, but I want to thank you so very much for giving me this moment to say it to you. So until next time, have a wonderful time. Goodbye.